Disappointing uh, second half for our guys tonight. We we fought back and got in the game. We're down 57-52, and I think we had six possessions in a row. We couldn't score. We got the ball on the rim two or three times. Had really good shots inside. Had a three that went in and out and uh, didn't didn't happen. And then we let them go on 11-0 run on the other end. That was your game. So this team was picked second in the league. We played tonight, and we'll play them again here in two weeks. Well, we missed Duke Gay for one tonight, that's for sure. But uh, you know, Narcisse played well. He, it's the best I've seen him play around the basket. He's a three-point shooter and not, a, not an inside guy. We gave him good dunks, and he protected the rim for him. Uh, but we just didn't finish. Guys you know, weren't uh, strong enough to get it in tonight. Coach, can you just talk about the dilemma of you don't want to foul because you're short-handed, and yet it's hard to play aggressively, I would imagine, when you're trying not to foul, but you want to play, I mean, that's a, that's a hard combination. Well, we played 40 minutes of zone. I've coached uh, close to 900 games. I've never never done that uh, ever. So, uh, and we felt like it was the right game plan going in, and it was. We did a good job. We wanted to give them some high post touches. We didn't handle it correctly, but we wanted to make some tough twos in the paint. And to their credit, they did. I think they had 22 paint points in the first half. And uh, second half, they didn't shoot the, the ball in the paint as well, but they made some big threes. Uh, Young made a couple of big ones and uh, certainly helped their cause. What do you think was the difference after you guys cut the lead to five when you missed those couple layups? What do you think was the momentum shift there? Uh, ball didn't go in on our end. It went in on their end. I mean, it's pretty simple. I, we had a low turnover game. Although our turnovers were poor, they were direct uh, – breaks for them almost. We just gave them some pick sixes and handed it to them and they were unpressured. So we weren't happy with that. Uh, we rebounded the ball well. I think we out-rebounded them for the game. I thought our guys fought on the glass a little bit. Uh, but just didn't didn't have enough in the tank tonight. You know, it's hard having having seven guys. So. Uh, Wilson, do you to now no, no, no. I don't think so. He's questionable. So, um, Tyrus, we talked about foul trouble. I thought at least two of them were kind of ticky tacky, but I mean, what? The one, that, the one that really hurt us was second half. He didn't, he wasn't focused the very first possession and missed a block out. And on a defensive rebound, he committed a foul, uh, and 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 that hurt us. And then we're into the well. Do we? We were down double figures at the time. I believe eleven or twelve. Do you play him? And try to keep him in the game, or risk you know losing losing the lead if you take him out. So, uh, you know, and it's it, it's difficult. We need another guy like Tyrus that we can throw out there, and we just don't have it right now. Chris Minku got some minutes tonight. I thought he was pretty hard. He didn't always finish. Just talk about what what's been his uh, obstacles to play in, and then what did you see from him? Uh, his, his best game in, in a while. I thought he played harder. Uh, he overthinks things too much, and it slows him down, bogs him down at times. But he gave good effort tonight, and uh, I know he scored a couple of points. I don't know how many. We had five rebounds. He was active uh, and, you know, played played well tonight. You mentioned a lot of your guys are active, so how do you just keep carrying these tough losses forward to Saturday? Uh, just have to turn the page and go to the next game. And uh, you know, the Texas State will come in. No one feels sorry for the Cajuns, whether we have a full deck or half a deck. It doesn't matter. So we're going to have to continue to fight. And, and uh, I thought we did that for a while tonight. Have to have better guard play. I was disappointed in uh, Cedric, PJ, and Calvin Temple. They have to play better. And they, they have played better. And I expect better. Texas State, they are obviously as deep as they were last year. So how is the challenge Saturday different than this one? Well, I'll dive into it uh, tonight. I haven't watched them that much. I understand they won a, a one-point game at Monroe tonight. Uh, Pearson's a good player. Uh, they, they, one of the leading scorers like Azor is for them tonight. But uh, the game will be a little bit slower paced. And uh, I, I don't think they shoot the ball as, as well as some teams from the perimeter. Uh, but they're a well-coached uh, team, and, and they'll be ready to play. You know, they've not won a game in a Cajun Dome, so. What do you tell the rest of the guys? Obviously, everybody knows 
you're dealing with all the injuries, but what do you tell the guys on the floor to say, hey, we got to keep fighting, we can't make excuses? Uh, just what you said, have to keep fighting, can't make excuses, and uh, have, have good body language, keep playing hard, good things will happen.